Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Asiatic for Ill Philly TV. I'm back with another comic book haul. These are my books for 27th of February 2019. But before we get started, I just want to say thank you to my subscribers, to the people who watch my videos, like, share, and comment on them. I really, really appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. And if you are in Instagram and you want to connect with me there, the links, my links are in the description. Let's stay connected. Yes. So let's start with some indie books. This is Honor and Curse number one. This is from Mad Cave Studios. It's just a little company. I love me an indie. And this is written by Mark London. He's the same guy responsible for Knights of the Golden Sun. And if you know that book right now, it's hot, it's popping. And if that's anything to go by, this book should be pretty sick as well. I mean, I read it already, but I'm a bit biased when it comes to this kind of story like Shaolin, Ninja, Shogun, Shinobis. I like those kind of stuff, you know, like Oriental kind of history. I'm really into that. So for me, it's a great book. It's a great, solid first issue. But, you know, some other people might not like that kind of style but for me this one is a good book it's not my pick of the week though but it's still a good book so let's move on talking about good books this one i'm really really into at the moment oliver number two this is by image this is like a loosely adaptation of you know the famous oliver by charles dickens but with a twist with a really really twist on it it's, it's different if you guys check check number one if you like it continue on i'm really addicted to it and it's only the second issue and it's really really good i think it's underrated not a lot of people i've seen on, online are like talking about it um similar to this thing um weird or wired number two the first issue was really really good i really enjoyed it so I picked up number two. I haven't read it yet, but, um, you know, judging by the first issue, I really want to continue and see where it goes. So that's Weird Number Two by Dark Horse. I don't know if you can consider Dark Horse an indie book. I don't know. Uh, let me know, guys, if you think Image, because Image are getting big, if you think, but they are indie because no one owns the company really. But Dark Horse or IDW, let me know guys if you consider those as indie companies. Okay, next up, um, Queen, The Forgotten Queen, number one by the award-winning Tini Howard. This one, it's all right. It's from Valiant. Um, this is not the main cover. This is cover C. I thought... When I read this book, I thought it also has potential. She's like a warmonger kind of witch with magics, and she influences um, a lot of leaders back in the days, and um, she uses her magic with it, you know. And um, I thought it's it. I thought it's a good book, but it, I'm a bit disappointed. It's not. It's not a solid first issue, but I don't know. They might be able to turn it around because. There's nothing like it. It's a good concept, but it's just the execution was not great on the first issue. It's, it didn't grab me. So, yeah, I'm really, I'm really quite a bit disappointed on that one. But the something that I'm not disappointed with is Sukeban Turbo. That's the number four already, and I've read it all the way through, and I'm really, really excited on that one. I like that kind of style, you know. It's about this kind of like Japanese-style um, biker girls. They just run around riot and like smashing things up and selling drugs and all that stuff. It's really, really good. It's There's a few twists on it as well, so I'm really, really enjoying that one. Similar to this one, this is The Lone Ranger number 5. Um, Classic, classic book. I grew up uh, watching um, programs like series and films with um, Lone Ranger. I'm, I really, really like and dig cowboy films as well. So I'm really enjoying that one. That's by Dynamite. And let me know as well if Dynamite, if you consider that in the publishing or no. Okay, similar to this one. Albatross, funny books. Grumble number four. 
This one is underrated. I don't know why people are not talking about this book. It's an amazing book. I'm really digging it. You know, if you're into those kind of like um, magic, alien, kind of like witch. Um, th there's so many different... I, I don't know how to consider this book because there's a lot of things going on. There, there's sci-fi, there's aliens, there's a little bit of magic on it. You know, um, it's a great book. Just check it out, guys, and let me know what you think. You know, it's it's really, really underrated. Okay, next up, Crimson Lotus number four, just a little mini series. If you guys like Hellboy, that's in the same universe. This is the four out of five already, so it's nearly finishing. Just a um, small mini series. Well, small mini series. <laughs> you get it. Anyway, Crimson Lotus number four, Dark Horse Comics. It's not a bad book. It's all right. Hardcore number three, written by Andy Diggle. Last week, um, if you seen, um, is it Incursion? Same guy who wrote that one, but this one is a solid book. I really like it. Three issues into it, and I'm still digging this story. Okay, next up, Image, Todd McFarlane, Spawn. That's issue 294. There's um, first appearance there by the Clown Violator. I think, yeah, please correct me if I'm wrong, that... 293 I think last um, the last issue where there's like a black uh, it's supposed to be a black and white and there's some colors about that one you see me if you guys saw my video I have a few copies on that one on this one I only grab one copy on this appearance um, I like the Matino cover but I couldn't get it so I just picked up one cover but um this guy Buffy the bonfire display uh, <laughs> Buffy number two, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I've been um, picking this up. This is only issue two. And in here, there's a first appearance of Drusilla. It's like a, a new reintroduction. They're making this uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer into like, they kind of like modernizing it. And it's really good so far. The first uh, uh, issue was solid. And I also have those um, kind of like portrait cover. And I continue to pick them up, and those are that not those are not the main cover. My days I can't speak today, and um, I also picked up the Wada cover. The first one it's Buffy with the T-shirt says Slayer, and this the second one is Willow Rosenberg cover. I really dig those covers, so I picked up multiple copies of them. Um, next up. Freedom Fighters number three. This one has been good so far. I really, really like the story. There's an a, appearance up there on the the first appearance of the third Hitler, apparently. Because this one is set in a Generation X where the Nazis won the war and the Americans or the Freedom Fighters are trying to like get the country back. And um, it's a whole different team. Um, and it's, it's it's been amazing so far. So now let's go. These are all already on the big boys. We're not on the indies anymore. DC Detective Comics 999. We're nearly to the thousand. It's getting um, epic now. So hopefully, guys, you know, don't wait for the thousand. Like, grab this um, storyline. Um, I think it started last um, last issue about this storyline but uh, don't quote me on that one because I haven't been reading them that much sometimes I flick through them especially in detective ones I have all the copies but I haven't had time really to read them all the way through but the thousand one there's a lot of different covers on it um, it's crazy though there's so many different ones it's like I don't know some of them are just money grab you know a lot of people who likes are like a completist they just want to complete a set or they want to complete all the variants of that issue and it's gonna be pretty expensive you know next up um wonder woman 65 um another uh it's a new writer um already on here like three three issue in on this new story arc the story arc on this one is 
it's pretty interesting it's really good so if you guys you know like wonder woman grab that one number 65 um variant cover of um Derek Chu, Batgirl number 32, the same person who did the variant last uh, issue 31, and I think it's the same guy who did the Harley Quinn, um, Harley Quinn 52, I can't remember, Derek Chu, I think it's not bad, it's not a bad cover, I really, really like it. Okay, from DC um, Vertigo, Hex Wives, this one is really a great story, guys, it's all popping up now, if you haven't been um, reading this comic if you haven't been getting that one um, I think the trade will come up soon so check it out Hex Wives number 5 okay Heroes in Crisis Tom King um, this is um, nearly wrapping up three more issues on this one and we'll find out but it's kind of like a long-winded story you know they've been uh, like Tom King is not going direct to the point when it comes to like this this um, story arc and um, I feel like there's a lot of fillers on it and stuff but yeah let me know what you think about that one but uh, I I, re I still like it I still gonna pick it up all the way until 9 and then reread it again and see you know see for myself if if, if it's really worth it this um Heroes in Crisis thing old lady harley number five this is the last issue of this mini series and there's an appearance there of um joker well the appearance is, is in number four old man joker this is the full appearance and then they had the son which is the son of yeah both of them obviously but yes they have a son and i think long-term play this could be a book that uh you know you should get because if you guys seen they've been releasing like um old man logan and there's a lot of like old characters now and with the new characters coming up and popping up there will be sooner or later they're gonna do a video where the old superheroes are involved like you know i think on the issue number three there's an old man aquaman there and then now um, uh, Old Man Joker is there, Old Lady Harley. There's a lot of them who's been getting old, Old Man Hawkeye and stuff like that. And I've been collecting those ones recently. So I will show you maybe on another video or something. But I think this is a good book to invest if you are into those kind of like first appearances. So I grabbed two copies of those ones. <clears throat> and this one is my book of the week this is daredevil number two this is by chip sidarsky chichetto they are really a good combination together the artwork the storyline is just amazing if you i've been you know i've been into daredevil ever since and i'm really digging this storyline i think it's one of the best um you know daredevil books that have been written you know the um is charles soul one the last one before um chip that one is all right but i think this one he really knows and nails the character really good and i'm really digging chip's version of daredevil and there's an appearance there of this guy called detective no north cole or cole north or something like that and you know there's there's a there's a very big um scene here um, i don't want to like spoil it guys but check out daredevil if you haven't done so already okay savage sword of conan number two jerry Duggan. Uh, i think the conan the barbarian one is better but this this one is all right but you know if you are a conan fan just yeah i highly suggest you get it but it's not as good as the conan the barbarian one that's running also at the moment superior spider-man this one though i really enjoy it um i'm really loving this one so far and i'm really impressed the art is amazing and um yeah all the previous is the spider-man and he is it's, it's really good i haven't like read any of of his books before but this one 
I think it's a great um, introduction to the character of him becoming a superhero rather than a villain. And uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's been good so far. This is a back issue, Champions number one. I thought I picked it up because it's only three issues in and I'm really liking those characters. There's like loads of different characters. It's sometimes it's kind of hard to like track on everything and get to know every character because there's a lot of them. But you know, I like Miss Marvel. I like Miles. You know, I like Viv, Vision, Iron, um, Iron Heart. I like those characters and I think these are the characters of the future and Wasp as well. You know, these are, I think there's going to be a film with all of these superheroes and you know, a lot of times they're doing like diversity and um, when it comes to comic books and I think this is the most diverse comic book that is out right now and it's amazing so far, you know, and um, yeah, check it out. Avengers, No Road Home, we're on the third issue already. This is a weekly issue, guys. It's getting interesting. Like I told you, like the last video, um, Nox family or Nick's family is in there. They're battling the goddess of night and it's getting into the thick of things already. I also have the connecting covers. Um, this is not their first appearances, guys. The first cover appearances is on the number two. They are on the side with their mom. That's their mom, Nick's. And um, yeah, it's 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 been a great issue so far. It's not as good as um, No Surrender, but I think it's 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 also a good event. Yeah. Next up, Age of X Men. This one, um, I I'm not sure if they're one shot actually, cause. You know, every week they've been coming out of different Age of X-Men one. Marvel's X-Men, Age of X-Men. There's different stories that ties in on the Uncanny X-Men. So if you've been getting Uncanny X-Men, I highly suggest you get this one as well. So a few more books to go and we're done. Um, Black Panther number 9. I haven't been reading this um, title but I've been read. Uh, I've been picking up the key issues. There's a first appearance here of Django. Um, I don't know how is that gonna affect or if it's gonna be a big character. But I picked up one coffee just in case. You know, is you know who knows if that book has a potential. But if um, if you like first appearances, there's a first appearances of Django there. And um, last one, Guardians of the Galaxy. Number two, um, yeah, I don't have to tell you about Donny Cates. He's been amazing so far in this book, Guardians of the Galaxy, is really, really, really good so far. So if you're a Donny Cates fan, grab that one. And that's it, really. Um, sorry, I'm a, bit, I'm a bit choppy today and all that. But um, hope you enjoyed the video, and I see you guys next week. But by the way, I think I'm going to do another video where um, I'm going to talk to you about the feature uh, releases that's coming out. Um, I want to talk about the indies that are coming out or uh, which books that I'm looking for, um, the future releases. So um, if you like that one, let me know. But I think I'm going to do that one. It just depends on timing and all that. But apart from that, Bye for now, guys. Thank you so much. This is Asiatic Ilfili. Peace.